and welcome back to Love and Romance Tarot Readings. I am excited for today's pick a card. Today we're tapping into the next three months in love for you. We're tapping into new romantic love interests as well. We're going to see all the love offers you will receive over the next three months. Who's coming in? What's happening? What romantic interactions you're having? We're going to get all of that. So that is our topic today. My Etsy shop is in the description if you would like your own private tarot reading. That is where you can find me. Other than that, you can go ahead and pause the video if you need more time with the piles. You can always pick more than one pile. And this video is completely timeless as well as all of my other videos. So don't worry. Whenever you're tapping in, this will be accurate for you. So for group one... We have the green zebra stone, and we'll be using the elemental wisdom tarot. For group two, we have the sodalite crystal, and we will be using the tarot illuminati. For group three, we have the amethyst crystal point. And we'll be using the Villains Tarot. And for group four, we have the Howlite Crystal Point. And we will be using the Wheel of the Year Tarot. So go ahead, pause the video if you still need, you know, more time to decide. And we're just going to jump right into it. Alright, if you chose group one with the green zebra stone and the elemental wisdom tarot, this is your reading. Tapping in, we have the eight of pentacles and the four of cups. So it's like you are ready. You've been working hard, doing your thing. This is actually one of my favorite tarot decks. I just love this deck so much. Um, and you're ready, so let's tap in. The next three months, spirit, for group one with the green zebra stone please show us the next three months in love for group one what love offers are they receiving what is happening in love for group one so the first message that I get group one is there is only up from here um, there's an energy of someone around you reaching rock bottom. It feels like someone can't get through to you. You're not open to their advances. Um, or someone is finally coming to an acceptance that they're not in alignment with you. Or maybe you're just not interested. Um, someone has definitely been hurt or someone has definitely been struggling. Energy is, yeah, that's exactly what I felt it was too. Um, energy is fluid. So, you know, this could be... Be partly your energy or you could be mirroring this person as well but there is definitely someone in your energy who is not happy and it feels like it's because you're not giving them attention we have obsessive lover it says dangerous toxic unhealthy possessive and karmic so that would make actually perfect sense because it feels like this is something that they've been trying at for a while it's like they've been trying to fit a square peg into a round hole and they've been trying to prove that they fit into your life and I feel like you haven't been able to hear this person for a while so this could be someone who's incoherent in their communication someone who's kind of gone off the deep end a bit uh, this could be someone who you're not entertaining at all this could be someone who's been like trying every tactic in the book to get you to pay them mind to get you to chase them to get your energy and you're just not getting it this could be obviously it does say karmic on there so a karmic connection typically karmics are in your life for like years plural because they come back again and again and again it's repetitive that's what makes it karmic essentially um so this could be someone you've been dealing with for quite a while now we do have the bankrupt card that came out 
So it just kind of feels like this person, I actually heard spiritually bankrupt. They could be spiritually bankrupt. So they're having a hard time connecting with anyone, which may be why they're trying to attach all this additional value to you because it's like, if it doesn't work out with you, no one else is paying me any mind either. So you're the my last point of connection. I have to keep coming back here. I have to keep trying because it's either this or it seems like disparity. It's either this or nothing. So I see someone in your energy over the next three months that it's like they're going through all the stages of grief. Hopefully by the end of this, they fully let go. But this does feel like someone you've been attached to for a long time. Actually, it feels like someone who's been attached to you for a long time and they've been very obsessive about it but they don't have anything left to give so say you have like an income requirement it's like you've been dealing with this person for so long and they refuse to keep something stable or they refuse to go uh, for a promotion or they refuse to get additional schooling so that they can put themselves in a better position and it's just like listen I can't see myself starting a life with you you don't have enough to match what would be needed. You, you're you not, you know, matching what I'm trying to do or what we are trying to do. You may say, oh yeah, I want to start a family or I want to have a long-term relationship or I want to move in with my partner. But it's like, and this is just an example, I'm not seeing money problems besides bankrupt, but you know, it's just like they don't have enough and they're, they're not applying themselves. Um, so I feel like this per person feels kind of overwhelmed by their own emotion. We got ego. It says hurt ego, getting in the way of a relationship, etc. So this could be, you know, their ego issues can be getting in the way definitely of finance, other friendships, relationships. Oh, and not you literally shining. We have, we have the shine card. It says your light irritates their demons. So you're coming across as kind of unbothered, <laughs> group one, and that may be what's irritating them more and more. Also, this could be someone you haven't even spoken to in a long time, <clears throat> someone you haven't been romantically connected to in a long time, but because you're shining and you've gone through your purging and you've gone through your transformation phase and you're on the other end, now you're starting to shine. It's like you're coming out of hermit mode. You're coming out of hibernation. You're looking good, feeling good, making new friends, going new places, trying things again, feeling more like yourself. And this person is not there. They're very much so still in the woes of disparity. So it's like you're irritating them just with being happy. We even have, now look at this, okay? We have romantic love affair, um, physical connection, secret lover, all that kind of energy. So there seems to be even someone that you're dealing with in the next few months that you're having um, something, it feels like, it doesn't really feel like a love affair per se to me. It feels more like you guys are keeping it low key. So if you've ever had any bad experience of sharing your relationships on social media or too many people knowing about what you have going on, that could be the result of the way this is going down. It doesn't feel like there's anything to hide. It just feels like a new way of doing things more than anything. Spirit, the next few months. Mm. We got crush blocking here. So this person, oof. And yeah, that's typically how it goes. Like, I feel like that's definitely why they were showing up so heavily in the beginning of the reading because it is actually affecting you in some way. It's not just like, oh, this person is thinking about you and you're feeling their energy. It's like, okay, they may actually be blocking you in some way and trying to meddle in your life, maybe even trying to spread rumors and things like that. So this would be a really good time for a return to sender and invisibility, anything that would block this person from proceeding to you. And I have that stuff on my Etsy shop as well if you need it. But if you are into magic and whatnot, this is a great time to get to it and to go ahead and make yourself invisible to them or to block them because they're showing up as having an effect on your next connection.
We have the moving card here. So if you have plans to move, but you've been struggling with that, I do see um, that working out for you. So if you've been planning a move already, I do see you successfully doing that over the next few months. Um, but I feel like this is an energy of you moving on. So yeah, you may be moving on physically from the same space that you were in, but I really feel that emotionally, spiritually, spirit, the next few months for group one, what is happening? You know what? Let me actually pull from the astro deck, see if we can get some signs of this person's spirit. Fabulous. We got Sagittarius and the fourth house. The fourth house is all about the home as well. So I see like a physical location change for you or an emotional level up, a breakthrough. If you've been really, you know, kind of praying to God, praying to the universe, asking the universe to send you some new energy and for change, I do see that happening over the next few months. The fourth house with roots, it says family, home, background, comfort, cooking, your inner world. So yeah, a lot of this could be like on a very personal level versus the external. Um, it says real estate, shelter, so it definitely has to do with physical living spaces for a lot of you. It says self-care, rejuvenation, which I was really feeling, you coming out of hermit mode and rejuvenating. Um, it says habits on there as well, so this could be your in new places, going to a new gym or going to a new activity. We have Sagittarius coming through, so this uh, romantic love affair person, it seems like they have strong Sag energy. Sagittarius says the voyager, enthusiastic, philosophical, independent, generous, oh we love generous, uh, ethical, seeking, happy-go-lucky, they have a good attitude. This person's energy feels so exciting compared to the past. Um, it says unbridled, experienced experimental, lucky, boundless, traveling, risk-taking, tactless, and self-righteous as well. So this person definitely has a strong sense of self. You really can't get them to budge and move in a direction they don't want to. They're very knowledgeable. This person is like an abstract compared to your energy. I feel like they kind of fill in all the spaces and dots that you kind of have open and haven't been able to fill yourself. This person is bringing in a lot of adventure and a positive attitude. So I could see you totally exploring with this person. We got Saturn that came up as well. I just heard Saturn return. Someone may be going through a Saturn return in the near future, like the next year. It happens around 27 to 30. Um, Saturn could also be aspecting your chart. So I do feel like this romantic love affair, it starts like more low key. It starts more about just you and this person. It's simple. And then it develops into something where you're both realizing, oh, we actually have a purpose in each other's life, especially with opposition coming up. So this person is like divine contrast for you. If you identify as divine feminine, this person could be divine masculine and vice versa. If you identify as divine masculine, this person could be divine feminine. We have Chiron, the wounded healer at the bottom of the deck. So Chiron is all about like healing, growth. Uh, it's the wounded healer. So those who have been hurt, those who have been... Um, experienced, you know, like some sort of unfairness, Chiron comes to heal and to patch those wounds and to regenerate. So I see a lot of regeneration, a lot of new beginnings for you. Opposition, it says, mirrors, interacts, confronts, makes conscious, manifests. So this could be someone you're manifesting. This could be someone coming from a conscious realm to the 3D. So you could have uh, dreamt of this person or had some spiritual experience in relation to this person before you meet them in the physical. Um, it says disciplines, tests, objectifies, and calls out. So this person is definitely making you aware of another side of yourself that you haven't seen. So if you've been really doing that work, traveling through your shadow, that's how it feels for me. Like you guys have been doing a lot of healing and shadow work, confronting your inner demons, confronting your inner self, your inner 
sabotager that will even get in your own way. This person's going to show you your light body now. This person is going to show you what it feels like to be light as a feather and to be really lighthearted and free. Um, and then Saturn, it says, Dis discipline, structure, time, responsibility, test, ambition, difficulty, restraint, grounding, practicality, self-control, tradition. You could be starting new traditions with, with this person, um, creating your own holidays with them. It says realism, maturity, and gravity. So this person is definitely, they have a strong grounding force in your life. And I feel like they're just your perfect polar opposite. But you guys fit together like you yin and yang. You have a little light inside your darkness that gives you resonance with their light and vice versa. Just like yin and yang, it's like, you're my opposition. You're different than me, but I can understand you because I have a little bit of you in me. So this could be a very spiritual connection. Um, and I feel like that'll be good for you. Spirit, tell us about the love offers. Is there anyone else coming through? Wow, we got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So Ace of Swords is all about communication and action. I definitely see people taking action towards you. And that coming out with the Ace of Cups is love offers for sure. Ace of Swords is like people trying to take you out, people trying to make it official. I'm definitely picking up on an energy of people romantically interested. Ace of Cups is like, let me give you my love. Let me show you what I'm all about. Let me wow you. Let me woo you. Let me pour into your cup. This is your season of receiving for sure, group one. There will be multiple energies here. It seems like you may be a one-person kind of person, though. Um, or you may just be on the defense. If you've had a crazy dating experience, it's like once you find that romantic person that you resonate with, you may be the kind that's like, okay, I don't need to see if the grass is greener on the other side. I'm just going to be comfortable and build something with... The person who's already investing in me, the person who, you know, is showing up and that wants this equally. Nine of Swords reversed. Yeah, you have like a very stress-free future in love. You're getting attention. People are asking you out, Ace of Swords. Um... But I haven't seen quite yet that you're entertaining them. I see flirtation in your energy, especially with that Ace of Cups. Oh, you flirting. You flirting back for sure. Um, but I'm not seeing you like full on engaging, at least not yet. It seems like you're like, okay, I feel like I got my person. I'm cool. Oh, well, we do have the Eight of Cups reversed and the Ten of Wands. So perhaps you're handling one thing at a time. Eight of Cups reversed is definitely an energy of someone still hanging on to you. So I'm telling you, um, I really would do like some sort of like blocking or reversal so that you don't have this person in your energy because this karmic is having a hard time. And this could be someone that usually does their own thing and doesn't get shaken up by anything um, or anyone. Someone who thinks they couldn't be touched, someone who thinks that they couldn't be played. And it's not that you're playing them, it's just that you're actually moving on and you have movement and things are moving and grooving for you. There's a new person in your energy, so they could be kind of like brought out of their comfort zone, brought out of their usual nonchalant attitude because they can see this time is literally, it's literally different. Nine of Swords Reverse. I, I see you keeping things stress-free, to be honest. It feels good to get attention. I do see you flirting and enjoying yourself, but I don't see you engaging with anyone uh, besides this Sag energy, um, this Saturn energy, this person that's coming in um, seemingly from Spirit. Uh, one of these cards... Yeah, the opposition said uh, manifest on it. So especially for those of you who are manifesting someone specific, I do see that manifestation coming through, whether that's an SP or like an archetype, like spirit send me my soulmate or my divine counterpart. Oh, I love it. Chariot card. So we got forward movement after a period of stagnancy, but we also have the two of wands. So spirit keeps bringing us back to this isn't set in stone. Things can still go. In multiple ways, and it's because of this person pulling on your energy. 
So nice. We got the Ten of Cups, a little Ten Ten moment here. We had the Ten of Wands before. Wow, with the Chariot and the Ten of Cups, you're definitely moving into a long-term relationship. You're moving into stability and love. Ten of Cups is a strong energy of like romantic partnership and officially being in a relationship. So I do feel like you will level up from the space of just kind of dating, keeping things low key, being adventurous with this uh, new person to like official commitment chariot moving forward here. Chariot is also usually moving forward after a period of loss. It's like the white and the black, the yin and the yang, the good and the bad with the chariot. Um... And it usually has like a white and black horse or on this, in this deck, it has wolves. The white and black contrast to show that. So yeah, I see you moving onward and upward. I see you also healing from a past relationship. Um, and I feel like you're really done. We have the three of swords in reverse and the six of cups. So it's kind of interesting because <clears throat> you could have like prayed for this person to come back at a previous point in your journey. But now that you actually have them here and they're asking to come back into your life and you have another option, it's actually quite easy for you to let them go. So I just find that so interesting how you guys are like literally, it's it's kind of like things have switched. Whereas before this person may have been nonchalant and whatnot, I just see you releasing anything that feels, anything that feels heavy. We have the Four of Cups, so you are receiving offers that you don't want. This could be people you're not romantically attracted to or interested in. This could be an old archetype that you've moved past. Certainly this karmic archetype I see you moving past, so could be picking up on their energy again. But we have the Five of Cups in reverse. I keep hearing no tears left to cry by Ariana Grande. Um, so yeah, there's like an energy of, I don't have any tears left to cry right now. I'm in a state of mind. I want to be in like all the time and got no tears left to cry. So I'm picking it up. It's like, I'm moving forward. Yes. Things have hit the fan. If you know, like when she made that song, there was a, so much that she had been through when I actually had sympathy for Ari. And then she just started wilding out in the last few years. And it's like, all right, well, I ain't got no tears left to cry, girl. Cause you wilding. But, um, yeah, if you know, like, Manchester had happened and then Mac had happened, like, you know, she really did go through a lot. And I, when I first saw the title of that song, I thought it was going to be a really sad song because it was, like, right after Mac. And I thought, oh, my gosh, like, oh, my gosh, she about to give us a ballad. No, she didn't. She gave us a pop song. <laughs> and then she get my smile is there. Seven rings. I was like, anyways, I was like, wow, she's, like, really moving on with her life. That's crazy. Um, but we have the Two of Wands and the King of Cups. So we got King of Cups energy. Uh, Sagittarius is fire energy. This is water energy. So there could definitely be another person, especially with this Two of Wands here. Um, so it seems like you do have at least two good options with the King of Cups and the Two of Wands. One of them is divinely guided and one of them is just a really good person that you're compatible with with that King of Cups. So you'll be able to take your pick. But um, yeah, Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. We shall see how things end up ultimately because there's definitely a karmic in your energy. So you want to slay that dragon. Yeah, keeping it low key. That's what I was getting in the beginning with that romantic love affair. Keeping it low key, not really telling anyone what you have going on. People may be hitting you up out of the blue. People you haven't spoken to in weeks, months, who weren't there for you in times of need. We got the aloof card here as well. So you're really, you have a strong kind of unbothered energy to you where you're aloof. You got your, that's crazy. Actually, both of these cards have sunglasses on. So it's like you got the blinders on for real and the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. You know, she always has her little band or, you know, her little not bandana but little you know fabric on her eyes as well so you are really like not seeing anything basically that you don't want to see anything that's not worthy of your time and attention is not getting it period point blank 
And people are not used to that. They may be used to rattling you or having your time, energy, attention, whatever they wanted, and that is no longer the case. So you keep doing you. I like this. As soon as I stop shuffling, we have the shift card here. Definitely a shift, a change happening for you, group one. And that's what I got for you for the next three months. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me or any of my other magical offerings. All of that is on there. And that's what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group two with the Sodalite Crystal Point and the Tarot Illuminati, this is your reading, tapping in to see the next three months and love for you. What love offers will you receive? What new romantic interests will come in? What will happen over the next three months in love for group two spirit with the Sodalite? Please show us. What is going on in the next three months for group two? Ooh, nice. Ooh. Well, you're definitely getting spied on. <laughs> Someone, <laughs> I am crying at the way that this is <laughs> coming out for you. I'm so happy for you. So we got jackpot and unbothered so before we even get into any opposing energy just know there's definitely a reason i i just heard making out like a bandit i don't usually hear sayings like that so yeah jackpot it says winning money getting rich inheritance and uh unexpected money um this is a love reading so of course this would apply to love as well so this would be like say there's even someone that you would say is like out of your reach like celebrity crush status this could mean this person is sliding on you real smooth okay um it's happened before to me personally so listen <laughs> don't put anything past the divine okay spirit works in mysterious ways but um, yeah, with the Unbothered card, it's like you are unbothered, you are living your best life, you are having fun, you are enjoying yourself. You could be even hanging out um, with new people in new places you have, you've never been. I'm really drawn to her kind of sunbathing on this yacht here. So yeah, you could be having new luxurious, I'm feeling, new luxurious experiences. Um, and then we have someone who's kind of obsessed with you. We have fake accounts. It says fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. So yeah, there's an energy of someone who's looking you up on fake accounts. We have happiness hater here. So look at this silhouette. <laughs> You can see the couple in front of the uh, water, and then you have this other figure, them just kind of standing in the wings, being a happiness hater. So as you're stepping into this new connection and you're hitting the jackpot, honestly, group two, not to gas it, but this really could be like one of those crazy stories that you hear where it's like, he dumped me, so I got with his favorite rapper, or she dumped me, so I got with da -da 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 -da, this model. Like, it could be something kind of insane like that to where this person is so salty because we have the ego card, so you've definitely bruised someone's ego with the way that you're moving on. Now, even if you're not someone who's really on social media or you're not accessible, so they couldn't, you know, find you and try to look at your page and check up what you're doing and, you know, be on your account if they wanted to. This person could be collecting information from you through third party. They could be collecting information from you through divination. Um, they could be really just noticing that you're not chasing them, especially if this change is reflecting, which it always does energetically. Um, if you've been thinking about someone for so long or chasing someone for so long and then you like literally just stop out of nowhere, yeah, that's noticeable. And that's those are the moments where you really see how much you were truly giving to someone and how like on how many levels that they really benefited because it's like, once that attention goes away and they start to kind of lose it, you get to see in real time like, whoa, they were actually benefiting so much from literally just having my attention, my thoughts, my desire. Ooh, 
and they're trying to steal you away. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it just seems like you leveled up outside of this person. I got to say, there is a lot of money energy here. So I guess for a small portion of you, if you know you were dealing with a dusty, okay, <laughs> then yeah, this is definitely talking about them because we have the broke card here. So this person, it really could be financial, especially when we had jackpot that came up. Like when you have those repeating themes of money coming up, then it's like, okay, this may actually have something to do with money versus just like emotional or spiritual or romantic. It could literally be money. This person, maybe they were up for a while, but now they're not being seen as, you know, as cool or as valuable. Maybe the coolness or whatever appeal that they had is kind of worn down people aren't really you know going crazy for them anymore this person is feeling away for sure um it feels like someone may have degraded in their looks as well I'm hearing where it's like they're no longer as physically appealing as they have been so they're now you know swinging back around and obsessing about you because it's like well this is the person who's always been there for me but here you are unbothered and done hit the jackpot so they're definitely in your energy quite salty. We have the thief card. So this isn't just like, oh, someone's in your energy, da, da, da. It's like, no, this person is going to come back and try to get you back. And um, their energy is coming through quite strongly here. The thief, it says robbed, lost, theft, physical or emotional. So this person could literally try to get in their way. They could like even show up at your house and try to get back something that's like totally insignificant. Like say they left a hat at your house. Like this person could be bothering you about a hat, using that as an excuse to like pull up on you and really just see what you have going on and just be in your energy, be in your face. Spirit for group two. The next three months in love. We have the attraction card. Ooh, and unrequited love. There's definitely a shift happening here. And I feel like you're going from the chaser to the runner. Or you're going from, you know, someone who is engaged to someone who's no longer engaged in that connection with that person. Engaged in the sense that, not like uh, with a ring, but like engaged like interactive you're going from interactive with someone to like totally off it not paying them any mind truly wow and then we have deception and chemistry so this person is trying to create some sort of fake chemistry as you have real chemistry and real attraction new love offers and people coming through this person is going to come in and they're going to yeah to the thief energy really really prevalent here they're gonna come in and try to convince you that they actually have something to offer that they're not broken that they're not broke that they're not you know a happiness hater that they're not just trying to get in your way and moving from ego but that they there's actually something here so this person could be love bombing you for sure trying to take you out paying for things man one thing you know that the finance it can it can do the best of us in so if it's a financial thing do everything in your power to get into a stable place so that you don't have to entertain this person because that's the one thing that everybody needs in this life you gotta you gotta pay to play you gotta have coin you know to live to be successful to be comfortable so it can make the strongest of people kind of fold under you know certain circumstances so try to work that out as soon as you can if you are struggling with money start applying maybe do a money candle or a spell for yourself so that you can um, get that income coming in and I do have manifestation candles and spell work on my Etsy shop so I can do one for you and uh, just check out the reviews okay might be working quick hunty um, but yeah, deception, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So <laughs> this person is trying to appear as if they're like a certified lover boy, a certified lover girl, like they have all the love to give and that they're so valuable to you. And really, they're broken, broken or broke. Um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going is what it says at the bottom of unrequited love. So Man, this person is chasing, 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 trying to make it happen. They want you bad. They're pressing you, and you're completely unbothered. We got attraction. So we got some new energy coming through. We're going to see wh who we get uh, with the tarot next. So we'll see who that is.
Uh, but we have attraction and chemistry, so I do see you getting along with people very well. Spirit is also highlighting how you may have more like charisma, how you may have more attraction power yourself. It seems like you're really good conversationally. Like you're having conversations with people and you're flirting and it's not awkward. It feels good to you as well. Chemistry says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Attraction says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So Spirit is saying continue to be unbothered. Continue to live your life. Live your best life. Live for you. You got options, okay? Spirit for group two. So who do we got coming through? What are the energies coming through? For group two, you may be seeing 505, 515, combinations of fives in your angel numbers. We got the five of swords in reverse and the five of pentacles. So money keeps coming up as very important and on your mind. You could be struggling financially at this time and this is someone that wants to struggle with you, wants to be attached to you. Money could be something that really does hold you back. I do see relief coming in for that. And also, you guys have great character because with the Five of Swords reversed, even if you are Five of Pentacles struggling financially, Five of Swords reversed, you're still not dealing with people, places, things that are beneath you. Someone wearing you down is a whole different thing. And that's the energy that I see that this person is very persistent, which is why you want to be on your P's and Q's as much as you can. But uh, other than that, It seems like you're being pretty strong and you're holding up here. You're right at the tail end. You're you're really about to embark on a breakthrough. It's like you're so super close. Um, it's like the last, you know, quarter type of energy with the judgment card here. So we got the two of wands, seven of wands, and judgment. This thief is going to come through first. Um, and I feel you being in a better space once they come through. So it's easier for you to kind of say, no, I don't want this, and to reject their, their advances. But for some of you, with this person coming through before, like, a solid love offer, it may cause you to kind of teeter here. So it does feel like a test for sure. We got the two of wands with the seven of wands and the judgment card here. So divine test, divine call to action, two of wands. Spirit is kind of saying this could go two different ways. It really depends on how you move. You know, judgment is like spirit saying, okay, I'm going to give you an opportunity to move forward, to be set free. Seven of Wands is a challenge and the Two of Wands is kind of like, okay, there's multiple paths I could go down. Multiple ways this can go, multiple options. And there's a clear right choice, Spirit. I'm going to pull from the Astro deck and get their placements. Dang, this person really wants you bad. We got the Six of Cups that was jumping up. Nice. Finally, I'm like, yes, show us what they're being aligned to. We got the Strength card and the Ten of Cups. Group 1 got the Ten of Cups as well. Um, Ten of Cups, long-term stability, happy family energy. If you want to start a family, I do see you achieving that. With the Strength card, I do see you getting out of your current space and graduating, getting into a better space, better relationship. But Two of Pentacles, we have the Two of Wands that came out before, and now we got the Two of Pentacles. You may be seeing 202, 212. Two of Pentacles, the Spirit saying you will have to choose this. So, whew, death card in reverse. Something that you thought had ended, something that you thought was over is reigniting. And that's uh, similar to the Six of Cups as well, which I saw before. You know, Six of Cups is typically a rekindling, a person of the past, that kind of thing. We got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so there's a clear right choice here. Oh. And... Um, Ten of Cups, it's like you have one path that leads you to long-term stability, long-term relationship, transformation, and one path that isn't as bright. Spirit, for group two, can we get the placements of this new person or where or how they will meet them? 
Oh, we got Scorpio. <laughs> we got Scorpio that came out. This person could be Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. <clears throat> we have a lot of cards that are like jumping up for you, but not coming all the way out. So I feel like that's synonymous with may what you may be experiencing right now. In the last few months, you may have had a couple false new beginnings, a couple false starts, or your last couple of relationships could have been false new beginnings, false starts, because it's like the cards, they want to jump up and I see them, it's visible, so you likely see them as well. And it kind of feels like the carrot, you know, being dangled in front of you at this point, because it's like things are visible, but not coming all the way through. We got Scorpio and Virgo, so you can look out for those placements for the new person. Scorpio, the powerhouse, it says transformative, intense, passionate, secretive, carnal, thorough, obsessive, intimate, primal, lusty. So this person definitely has a super strong attraction to you. If physical touch is your love language, I definitely see that satisfied through this connection, through this person. They're low-key obsessive about you and very protective over you. They want to know where you are. They want you to share your location. They want consistent updates throughout the day. Um, it says deep, eternal, resourceful. So this person has a lot that they can bless you with, a lot of knowledge, a lot of information, life experience. They have something to share. They're not spiritually broke. They have something to give. Uh, it says mysterious, regenerative, compulsive, destructive, and manipulative. So these cards, they say the light and the dark aspects. So don't be afraid of that. It's not saying that this person will be manipulative towards you, but that would definitely be a shadow side of scorpionic energy so just be aware but um this person they have this strong regenerative force they've gone through some stuff in life as well so they can definitely help you through this transition that you're already naturally going through this feels like a long-term partner for sure scorpio they have really deep loyalty and so does virgo thing about virgo is just getting them to commit is is the thing but we have Virgo, the alchemist here. It says methodical, aligned, ritualistic, efficient. So this person is adding a lot of value to your life. This person is not a how you gonna do it kind of person. They're like, this is what I have to add. This is what I have to offer kind of person. Or this is how I'm gonna help. This is how I'm going to solve this for you. This is how I'm going to add to your life to this situation. Um, it says ritualistic, efficient, insightful, healthy, dutiful, discerning, witchy, subtle, pure, refined, accurate. This person may practice divination. I'm being really drawn to the potions on the card as well. They could be an herbalist, someone who makes their own tinctures and whatnot. Say you have like a cut, they have their own tincture for that. That'll resolve it in 24 hours or say you've, you know, got a fever or something like that. This person could be into like, um, uh, like herbal or, uh, alternative ways of healing and medicine. Um, it says critical, nervous, and perfectionist. So this person, when they do something, they want it to be done right. This person has strong feelings for you. They make a deep attachment to you with that earth and water energy. A very supportive person as well, I'm seeing. And then we have Capricorn. That's another placement you can look out for more earth energy. Capricorn, the boss, it says serious, authoritative, ambitious, realistic, structured, traditional, wise, enduring, accomplished. Oh, this person definitely has value to add into your life. I feel like this person got a, a, a pretty penny, okay? I feel like they got some coins stashed away. And I feel like they're responsible with their money. They're practical. Um, it says majestic, competent, prepared, down-to-earth, cooperative, reserved, and disciplined. So this person, they know how to save. They know how to have a common goal. They know how to get from point A to B. If they want to manifest something, they actually get their manifestations. They're not super idealistic. They're very realistic. Spirit, what else can you tell us about the next three months in love for group two? There was a card that already flipped over. That was from group one. Oh, we got.
got the winning card and that's exactly see i love this full circle moment we started with the jackpot we end with the jackpot and maybe this is why this person is so upset because look at this emoji not the pointing <laughs> <laughs> you are winning period point blank you done hit the jackpot in love you're winning so just hang on to that yeah and we have gracefully bowing out I was just about to say like I wouldn't use this as an opportunity to rub it in especially if this person is already showing signs of kind of being like broken having nothing to lose the last thing you want to do is try to fight somebody with none to lose absolutely not and I'm not, I'm talking even verbally. I won't even go back to back and forth with someone who's got nothing to lose. And I don't advise that you do either. Gracefully bow out and go into your winning season as you deserve. That is what I have for you, group two. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me. And that's what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group three with the amethyst crystal point and the villains tarot, this is your reading. Tapping in to see the next three months in love. What do they hold for you? What new love offers will come through? What will happen? We shall see the next three months. For group three, Spirit, what is going on in love? Seems like you're on your grind. Oh, we got the travel card that just came out. So you could even be like expanding your horizons. Meeting new people, getting out of your usual area, your comfort zone. Definitely got some eyes on you for sure. <laughs> We got the creeping card that just came out. So someone is watching you. You know what? Oh, my goodness. I feel like someone may have been trying to. Yeah, exactly. We got love triangle and scarcity tactics. So love triangle, it says third party, multiple lovers and choices. So this love, uh, this love triangle energy isn't necessarily saying that you're in a third party situation. Just to be clear, this is talking about you also having multiple options. But with the scarcity tactics card and creeping, there is someone in your energy who is watching you for sure. You may be seeing seeing a lot of owl symbolism or you may be connected to owls in some way um egyptian mythology even they use a lot of owls in their symbolism as well but with scarcity tactics it seems like someone was trying to get you to chase or someone someone was trying to triangulate you they were trying to have you competing with another person for their love and the crazy thing is we got the played out card so this person is very much so played out. Their love life may be slow. They may not be getting a lot of love offers. It seemed like they had felt gassed up at a certain point because they were receiving a lot of love offers or they were getting a lot of attention. People were sweating them very much so in their energy, trying to make it happen. People were interested, okay, that is valid. They did have people that did want them at a certain point. But now, it's like people are seeing through the illusions, yourself included. We have the reflecting card. You may be getting into meditation. You may be doing, like, calling back your energy, you know. It seems like you've been kind of just working on yourself, and now you're ready to expand your horizons with traveling. We got hustling here as well, so you've really been working on yourself, and now the turns have tabled. Now you have this person who had been previously trying to get you to chase or previously trying to triangulate you, get you to chase them, interested in them, or what have you. Now this person is chasing you. And before they tried to, you know, play some sort of like chess game with you with scarcity tactics, they were trying to make you feel like, well, you know, I'm the only person out here or there isn't very much going on out here. So you need to deal with this and this and this. And it's like, no, I actually don't have to deal with that, that and that at all. I can completely tap out. You've been pulling your, you know, taking your power back, pulling your energy back from people, places and things that are not for you you've done a lot of reflecting a lot of meditating and now you're in a much better spot so this person can't get you out of your comfort zone this person can't get you out of your 
they can't get you out of your bag. They can't disturb you. So it seems like you're on and upward to better things and now this person is chasing you, watching you. You could have random accounts following you on social media. Weird stuff kind of happening. We have travel here. So I see you doing some traveling in the near future. And this doesn't necessarily mean that you're you're like going to a new city, a new country, state, region. This could be that you're just getting out of your usual place. So maybe you go to a different gym now. I know like Planet Fitness, for example, I'm pretty sure that one's nationwide. If you've, you know, I'm pretty sure you've seen it, something with it. But, um, you know, with the black card, you can go to any gym. You know, so you may have a situation like that where at your gym you can go to any of the other locations or you may be switching up your home gym to a new location or it doesn't have to be the gym. It could be like your route to work, your breakfast spot that you stop to, you're stopping at a new one and there's new faces there, new friends, new romantic interests, new options. It could be, you know, local traveling to a new beach, um, traveling to a new area. We have hustling. It says making it rain, focused on money and getting it. So you're hustling right now. You're focused on getting to the next level. It kind of seems like you're a part of the divest movement where you're divesting your energy in anything, anyone that's not serving you or not serious about you. Anyone that's not making you a real love offer is not on your radar. You're not giving them your time, your thoughts even anymore. You're hustling, getting to the bag or hustling, getting to the next level. <laughs> We got inside scoop. It says a closer look, nosy and up in your business. So be mindful of people that are calling you right now because it seems like you may even be going ghost on like everyone. It'd be like that sometimes where it's like, listen, even uh, and and that's how you know someone's a real friend because they just give you your space to kind of fall off the grid and recharge and come back better than ever. Um, so yeah, there could be people trying to usually by now they would have heard something. They would have heard what you're doing. They would have heard you know what you got going on but they're not hearing that so be mindful of people who are trying to get the inside scoop on you this person we already saw that they were creeping so it could be family and friends as well we got bad reputation oh my goodness i'm gonna have to clarify that spirit is this them are the is group three developing a bad reputation or is this someone in their energy well we got the three of coins reversed and the fool reversed. So this is partly your reputation as well. It's not a bad reputation, but yeah, we got the strength card in reverse at the bottom of the deck. People no longer have a stronghold on you. We got the fool reverse and the three of coins reversed. I feel like you have a bad reputation with family um, and a bad reputation with romantic interests at this point because it's not that your reputation is bad, like the, oh, they're here and you're doing this and this and this, but it's more like they don't have a stronghold over you. They don't have control over you and they're upset about that I feel that heavily with family with the three of coins because three of coins is also a card of like religion or working with the higher power so you could be divesting from like masculine centered religions that just you know use all that language like the father the son where it's all about masculine energy you could be going on more of a spiritual energy or developing your own relationship with the higher power and really calling your power back and there may be some family members who are judging you about your spiritual journey, even romantic interest trying to shame you. I'm like, what is up with that? Why is everybody trying to shame group three right now? Like, it's really just because they don't have a hold on you. They can't contact you, be close to you, that kind of thing. Nice. We got to stay optimistic about your love life. So spirits like, don't you worry. Things are about to pick up. I got someone for you. <clears throat> yep, and we have separation here. So Spirit is supporting you and telling you keep going on that decentering, on that de investing um, movement. Nice! You are being aligned with a soulmate. We have soulmate and romantic feelings here. So I do see you making a strong connection within the next three months. Soulmate says, yes, this is your soulmate. Romantic feeling says your feelings are real and worth exploring. So I see you making a strong connection with someone that you're really feeling, that you're really interested in, and vice versa. This person is really interested in you. Now, with all that being said, I do see you separating from someone as well.
well. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon is what it says at the bottom of this one. I could already feel that. I could already feel that you were separating from this person that's been trying to triangulate you and moving on with your life, bigger and better places, being more adventurous, having more fun. So that was to be expected and Spirit is supporting that. And we got stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So this is a great time for you to do a uh, honey jar on yourself, a goddess spell. I did a goddess binding on myself two years ago, and I've had the biggest quantum leap when it comes to prioritizing myself, my own energy, and being connected to that strong goddess magnetic energy. Um, than I ever, ever, ever have. I used to be so confused, like, ugh, I don't feel better when I'm doing, like, the self-care and the stuff that they tell you to do. I needed my own personal version of self-love, and I learned that through the goddess binding, so maybe you want to do something like that. Or God binding, you know, whatever you resonate with. But anything that'll kind of, you know, sweeten you, your 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 energy, your attitude, anti-anxiety would be good at this time as well. Something for patience. I got manifestation candles on my Etsy shop, so I can do one for you. Um, a goddess binding would be spell work, though, if you're looking for that, just so you know. Let's see. Spirit for group three. What have they got coming in and love in the next three months? Nice. Well, we got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents is what it says. So I don't see necessarily that your family is going to come to and all of a sudden they're going to accept your lifestyle or your spirituality, especially if it's something that, you know, is well through the family and multiple people, you know, follow this religion or way of life, whatever. But what I do see is you healing your issues with your family by releasing it and no longer allowing it to bother you um, and moving forward with your life, with the life you do have. It's like, listen, one monkey ain't going to stop the show. I can't sit and care about everybody's feelings. I got to live for me and I see you doing that. So I love it. Keep an open mind, says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Second card coming out, specifically using that soulmate verbiage. So if you are manifesting at this time and you're using soulmate specifically, I would recommend it if you're not. Uh, but if you are, I do see spirit delivering you your soulmate. So there is a soulmate connection that will come in. And spirit is saying be open. This person isn't going to be your usual type. But then again, the person you were dealing with, if they are your type, was a mess so I feel like this change up will be good spirit the next three months and love for group three three of cups are reversed so we got the three of coins that came up before three of cups that came up reversed both of them reversed and then we have the uh, love triangle talking about a third party so you may be seeing a lot of threes right now but Three of Cups reverse, yeah, strong energy of getting out of alignment with people, places, and things who are not for you or don't have your best intentions and heavy on the places because the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. So this could be like your local bar, your local spot, or your hangout spot, someone's house, um, your usual habits as well, I'm hearing. So I see you creating new habits and that's aligning you with much better options. We got the eight of swords here. Oh my goodness. People are on your neck. Uh, the two of wands and the four, or sorry, the nine of coins. So you're quite valuable at this time. There's a crossroads here with the two of wands. I love how in this deck, it's depicted by like two magic wands coming together, two different forms of magic. So I get that energy like you're crossing a very powerful frequency. It's like time is meeting up with the path that you're on and something is manifesting. I love using crosses in manifestation because it's a point of manifestation. It's where you see things actualize. So I use a lot of crosses um, when I'm doing my, you know, spell work and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we got the nine of coins. So that's a card of financial stability as well. Your next partner, okay, they could have some money. They could be paid. <laughs> and we have the eight of swords. So people, look at Scar. <laughs> look at Scar on this card. Um, 
yeah, we have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Cups reversed. So it's, it's so funny how Scar is like literally smiling, unbothered, like he loves the drama. You may be in a place where it's like, oh, I, I wish you would. You ever have those days where you're just out and about and you're like, I wish somebody would try me today. I've been waiting to go off. This is the day. And it's like never happens either. It's like people always want to try you when you're in a good mood. But when you're really about it, then it's like nobody wants to bother you. It's like they can tell energetically. <laughs> But um, yeah, Eight of Swords, you're actually in a I wish it would energy. So, you know, it's like fire is on you. You got family looking at you. You're looking hot as well. Very attractive. A lot of eyes on you. Spirit is pretty much kind of maybe even blocking like too many people because I'm not getting too many people other than this soulmate. So it seems like, and that's typically how it works with soulmate connections. Typically those are divinely guided. Spirit does lead those people to you. But I'm not seeing, you know, too, too many people. I'm seeing you getting, you know, energy, attraction, people looking at you, some flirtation for sure. But when it comes to like, okay, solid love offers, people are really pressing you. I'm not really seeing that. So I see like spirits already getting you prepared for someone specific. So there isn't a whole lot of people that are allowed to have access to you at this time. But we have the magician card. So spirit is just letting you know that your manifest your manifestations are on the way. You may be seeing 888, 808, um, strong, powerful energy. We also got a lot of coins showing up for you. So uh, money as well coming in. We got the nine of wands reversed, the eight of coins reversed, and the page of swords reversed. So honestly, you could even be in like a, a bit of a man he eater energy or a Don Juan energy where it's like, I'm running the show. I wish you would. <laughs> you don't have exactly the best patience with people or, you know, tolerance for BS. So when people come in with their nonsense like a tornado, honestly, you're ducking and dodging people anyways. It's like they couldn't connect with you, bother you, and waste your time even if it was their wish at 11-11. Okay. Wish rejected. We got the queen of coins. So you're coming into your value. A lot of people are seeing you as quite valuable. You're, ooh, queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. A lot of people are seeing you in this Queen of Cups energy. A lot of people are seeing you as Queen of Coins, Queen of Cups, the one. A lot of people are projecting onto you right now, kind of using you um, to just kind of paint whatever picture that they want to see of their dream girl, dream guy, dream person. Like a lot of people are doing a lot of fantasizing about you. Spirit, can you tell us how they will meet this person or where? or uh, their placements for the soulmates for group three. Can we get some placements? We got cancer here. And we have Virgo that came out as well. So we got water and earth showing up. This could be in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. Cancer, the doula, it says feeling sympathetic, comforting, nostalgic. This person could have a strong relationship to the moon. Um, it says protective, intuitive, birthing, tender, nocturnal. They could spend a lot of time up at night. They could be that kind of person that works uh, at night and sleeps more during the day or at odd hours. Um, I'm also hearing naps and power naps, so they may be a real big fan of the power nap. It says caring, moody, receptive, lunar, sentimental, introverted, defensive, and family-oriented. So it looks like this person does want to start their own family. Cancer placements do typically have a connection to animals as well. <clears throat> so it could be that they want to have their own family in the sense that they want to have a bunch of pets. I'm seeing chickens uh, that they want to take care of. I'm seeing cats as well. Virgo, the alchemist, it says, methodical, aligned, ritualistic, efficient, insightful, healthy. This person could even help, help you on your health journey. I'm seeing meal prep. So this person, you guys may alternate weeks, like one week you do the meal prep, the next week they do, and you guys may develop like a really cool system. That's the thing about Virgos. Like when it comes to living with Virgos domestically, that can be such a win. Like they just have the... 
Well, actually, I kind of noticed that it's either like, it's, it's either sides of the spectrum. They're either like neat, freak, super clean, everything's aesthetic, looks good, smells good, organized, or it's just like disorganized and, and chaos. I actually kind of noticed that with Virgo placements. Um, but anyways, you guys could create a really good balance between the two of you when it comes to like domestic duties and whatnot, especially as you grow closer. It says, uh, dutiful, discerning, witchy, subtle, pure, refined, accurate. So this person has a strong intuition. You can't lie to them. And also they're quite dutiful. So they like to take action. You can depend on them. Um, it says solitary, critical, nervous, and perfectionist. So this person definitely has a way that they like to do things. They're a perfectionist. They like things to go a certain way. And yeah, they're definitely more organized. So I feel like this person will really help you with some structure if you're lacking that. We have a lot in common, so maybe you guys are on the same level. I'm also seeing gadgets. This person is really into gadgets. I'm seeing like kitchen gadgets. So it's like the other day I was on um, one of those little sites and I saw like an apple peeler. I didn't need an apple peeler. I barely even eat apples, but I got it. Why? Because it was a dollar. That's why. <laughs> so this person may be really into that like kitchen gag. It's like little things. It's like one of those little peelers and it spins around the apples. So you have like barely any ways. They got me. I'm like the perfect person to give those ads to because I'm like, really? Apple peeler? <laughs> Uh, we got going steady, dating around, and a lot in common. Oh my god, dating around. So it looks like you are dating around, keeping your options open, or at least appearing that way. A lot of flirtation, but ultimately I do see you going steady and having a lot in common with this person. So this will be such a win for you. That is what I got for you, group three. My Etsy shop is in the description if you'd like your own private tarot reading or any of my other magical offerings. That is where you can find me and that's what I got for you today. I'll talk to you soon. All right, if you chose group four with the Wheel of the Year Tarot and the Howlite Crystal Point, this is your reading. Tapping in to see the next three months in love for you. What love offers will you receive? What new romantic interest will come in? What will happen over the next three months? We shall see, Spirit, for group four. Please show us what's going on for group four over the next few months so first of all it kind of seems like you guys are unbothered doing your own thing and almost turning your back on people it seems like you may be a bit jaded or maybe you've had a negative experience recently that's kind of turned you off this could be an, ener uh, an energy of you kind of being tired of the weight as well we have uninterested and hustling hustling says making it rain focused on money and getting it so there's an energy of you being a little bit you know kind of turned off with dating or uninterested you may be getting love offers that are just kind of ugh, kind of meh oh yeah that'll definitely do it we got the played out card um i'm really noticing how he's in a race as well so you could be tired of the chase or you could have a problem with sustaining long-term relationships it's like you can get them to chase you can get them to be attracted but then once they have you they may start getting lazy they may start you know acting differently or disappointing you in some way and it just seems like people are played out and you're over it so let's see who we get that comes through hopefully someone good because right away right off the bat it seems like you know what I'm gonna just focus on money that could be in a dating sense perhaps you're tired of the games you know maybe it just feels like a game to most people out here who are you know dating these days so you're aligning yourself with, you know, people who have some sort of other value they can bring into your life, like maybe some stability. We got the unfazed card. So, 
you definitely have people chasing you. There's people in your energy and they're flirting, but I don't really see you doing the most to couple up with anyone at this time. It seems like you're more unfazed. It's kind of like, yeah, I have attention, but not from the one I want or the kind of person that I would see as someone I could settle with or move forward with. Like, it's like, ugh, the options aren't really optioning right now. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got the jackpot card. So you could be hitting the jackpot when it comes to love. We shall see. But the, the jackpot card in this deck really is based more on money. So I will say if money has been holding you back, group four, I see you getting a promotion over the next three months or a better job. You could be making a lateral move to a different department that feels a lot better for you. So say you work customer service, but you have like a uh, back back team, back office, you know, that works more not on the phone all day, not talking to customers, dealing with the BS, but kind of just doing paperwork and stuff like that. You could be making a lateral move where it's like, okay, you're making a similar amount or maybe a little bit more, but it's so much less on your your, your consciousness on your physical self, much better work-life balance, much better experience. Um, but if you've been trying for a promotion or if you're, you've you been working at a side hustle, trying to go viral or trying to make your business pop off, just trying to make more money, I do see that will likely happen in the near future. So that would be really good for you. Goodness gracious, we got the drama starter that showed up. So group four, there could be someone in your energy that's not taking too kindly to the fact that you're no longer entertaining people, especially if this is a shift that has happened suddenly. It's like people were always able to flirt with you, get your attention. They were able to, you know, go back and forth and feel like they were a catch and yada yada. And then all of a sudden, you're no longer giving people anything. You know, you're not giving people flirtation, your time, any vibe someone is really not happy with that and they're being a drama starter also if you're now in this super laid back energy whereas before if you were chasing or you were like you know keeping up these connections and whatnot if you've shifted your energy that's naturally going to shift the paradigm of the runner chaser dynamic and it's going to make you the one chased after so someone could also be upset that you're getting more energy because you flip that dynamic you're no longer giving people your attention so now you've got all these people chasing you and naturally if they're focused on you they're going to be de you know deinvesting and not focused on other people so I'm picking up on a feminine and it does feel like at work you could have a feminine like even if you're a masculine you could have a feminine in the workplace that has it out for you maybe you denied them at a certain point or we have the grudge holder that came out this could be like someone who is holding a grudge because of something that they feel like you did to them but they never even talked to you about it you're completely unaware and aloof about it it, it seems like you're very unbothered bothered and that triggers a lot of of people so yeah just know like there could be someone in your energy who's mad that you're not mad at them or you're no longer engaging in their banter you're no longer engaging you know in their nasty energy we got the broke card here interestingly enough I'm not feeling this on you I feel like you may be dealing with this right now maybe career is all set for you but when it comes to like okay attracting someone of value maybe that's where you struggle <laughs> You're the one with all the coin. You're hustling. You're leveling up. You hit the jackpot. Your business is doing really well. And you got these brokies attract to you. <laughs> Let's see. Spirit for group four. Nice. I feel like that'll be really good. We got heart-to-heart -heart conversation, so I feel like that's better than things coming to a head and kind of blowing up. I do see you having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone, so if there's someone who's been in your energy, we got separation that has just come out. If there is someone that uh, you're in separation with that you wish is, you know, that you wish were talking to you at this time, I see you guys having a heart-to-heart -heart and maybe even a rekindling. <laughs> See what else we get. We got to express your love. So spirit is definitely calling you to be more open. 
calling you to be more open. We got the trust card here as well. Nice. Spirit's like, I got something for you. Don't you worry, group four. I got something of value up my sleeve. I'm going to connect you with someone who would be really good for you. The situation is calling for you to have faith is what it says at the bottom of the card. So yeah, I was picking up on that energy of you maybe being jaded and kind of feeling away, being a little bit disappointed. So Spirit's like, don't you worry. I got something brewing. Um, this is the time to be open. And when I saw that you were kind of more reserved at this time, yeah, Spirit is kind of calling you out of that energy, calling you out of that super reserved space where you're not really giving people attention. I feel like the same old, same old, yeah, you can go ahead and close the door on those, uh, especially if you already know what they're all about. But when it comes to new people, try your very best to be open because I feel like Spirit has someone really good for you that'll be coming in in the near future. Express Your Love says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So Spirit is calling you to be open. Spirit is calling you to even go out of your way and, you know, kind of have conversations to be light as a feather. Past life relationship here, bottom of this one says you have known each other before. So I see a very strong, powerful connection coming in for you, group four. This is a past life lover. And typically with past life lover, there's a lot more magnetism where it's like you could have everything kind of working against you and those past life lovers will find a way to connect with you. They will find you. Um, and that's because you already have like this deep soul resonance. You've experienced each other in past lifetimes. So you may feel that that like even though things are kind of slow or even though things are quiet for you you could feel that there's like something brewing and something coming and um that's kind of in your energy already it could even be in your dreams and other other forms coming through we have separation and heart-to-heart -heart conversations time apart from your partners on the horizon i feel like this energy is already current um, if not, you would definitely see this coming. This wouldn't be something out of nowhere, you know, with someone you really care about. Um, this would be someone you're already separated from, um, or someone where it's like you can very much so see it coming. It's been dwindling for a long time. But I do see you guys having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, even if all you want from this situation is closure. In the next three months, I do see you having a significant, deep conversation, details, we're talking about it, we're working through it, and we're coming to some sort of resolution, even if that resolution is, you know what, I'm not really interested, I'd rather open myself up to other options, new options, especially past life relationship, like, come on, those are hard to deny. They have that love at first sight kind of uh, aspect to them because you already resonate with them for past from past lifetimes, so they can be very quickly starting. You can fall in love very, very quickly with these kind of connections. Heart to heart conversations, it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So I do see you doing that. Let's see what else we get. Spirit for group four. What's going on the next three months in love? We got temperance and we got the two of wands. So I see you alchemizing. It's like you're in this... Um, middle ground right now you're kind of in the gray area group four it's like you got one foot in the past one foot in the life that you're leaving where you have all this flirtation but no one's like fully making it happen giving you like a forever offer or stability offer or where no one's matching your energy they don't make you know a good amount of uh, coin like you do they don't meet your requirements or expectations I see you one foot in that life, even, you know, the older version of yourself that would go out of your way to make things super easy or comfortable for other people. One foot in that door and then one foot in your new life. And I see you finally making that transition to the other side. So things may be really picking up. It feels like in all areas for you with all these cards coming out talking about money, it feels like all areas of your life are kind of speeding up and leveling up. Temperance, I also see you getting a lot more of what it is that you want. So if you haven't been getting a lot of dates, you've just been getting a lot of people on your phone, I see you getting more dates. If you haven't been getting a lot of like dependability, people been falling through, not uh, making right on their promises. I see that resolving as well. And I see you finally releasing. It really does feel like a releasing this person of the past. We got the Six of Cups reversed. 
and the nine of swords reverse. So it's like I can no longer deal with the stress or uncertainty or just this loop-de-loop -loop kind of karmic cycle. I would rather open myself up to new people, ex you know, express my love and trust in the universe. You could have been in a space where you were not trusting in the universe and kind of holding on to someone of the past just because of like them being there but I see you finally taking the plunge and being like listen God's got me <laughs> I'm gonna look to the high heavens and um I'm moving forward spirit for group four the next three months <clears throat> Oof, you're having to beat them off with the stick and you are ducking and dodging people. More money energy coming up. You are so about your bread right now. It's not even funny. We got the eight of pentacles, okay? You are working hard and honing your craft. I also see you doing something you love. I really feel like group four, you're going to get a promotion and that's going to some way somehow affect your financial standing because we're getting so many cards that have to do with you hustling, making money, get into the bag, jackpot, you actually having really positive results. So whatever you you've been investing in I see that really being fruitful for you over the next three months and now that we got that confirmation why don't you go ahead and invest in something if you're not already I don't mean like you know like stocks or anything like that I don't I don't do that I don't play with that like people it's very popular and people are obsessed with it but me I just it's just too much for me <laughs> I'm just not into it but we have the eight of pentacles here so Make an investment in yourself, make an investment in applying for new jobs, uh, even if you don't feel like you exactly qualify, especially if you already work for the company, just go ahead and put your application in. You never know. You know, a lot of times these employers, especially with like the struggle that they say they're having right now, they will lower, you know, their requirements and they will pay for you to get certified if you need certifications or certain schooling. So just go ahead and try. Let them deny you. But I see some sort of financial win that's really leading you to um, more romantic stability. But to be honest, things are really kind of hitting the fan. We got the tower card. So tower is drama. Tower is a big change. Usually the tower is a bit unsavory as well. So things could be going down, especially with this drama starter. And I feel like they may be getting fired. I see you dropping dead weight. Five of Cups reverse. So whether that's a specific romantic partner, you know, this uh, separation person and you finally being released from that, that person could even be chasing you. And we were getting that runner uh, chaser dynamic strongly in your reading. It's like when you're focused on money and other things, all of a sudden people who weren't bothered before are now very much so bothered and wanting to talk to you, wanting to be close to you. So you could absolutely have like this person that wasn't really sweating you before that's now on it all of a sudden, on it, on it, on it, trying to make it happen. And finally, as that's happening, even if you had been waiting for that connection, it's like, you know what, I can finally move on because I had a full circle moment. This person now wants me and I can actually move on to better options. So it could be something like that. We got the King of Cups, Ace of Pentacles in reverse and Seven of Pentacles reversed. I see something being lost for sure, but it's being replaced with something much better. I'm like, what way can I soften this? But there really is no way to soften it. Like seven of pentacles, ace of pentacles reversed is, is a loss, especially with the tower card coming out. King of cups reversed. It could definitely be related to love. It could be a job. We did get a lot of job change energy. So you getting a new job or promotion, more money could come from you having a tower moment with an old job. And typically, you know, tower moments happen after a long period of resistance. So if you've been kind of experiencing a lot of flack with a drama starter or someone seemed to have it out for you since the beginning, you know, I take that as a bad omen. So perhaps this was never the permanent space for you, just the space to kind of get you in something so that you can kind of catch up and keep up. But um, the real blessing is around the corner. Spirit for group four. Dude, every single deck so far. Besides the romance angels, we've got some sort of money card. We got reaping rewards. So I'm telling you, go ahead and make those investments. You are reaping rewards for everything that you've been putting in. 
we have asking around. So there are people asking about you. Someone uh, may ask you for your number. There's also an energy of like people kind of trying to see what you have going on. People asking around about you at the gym or at the places you frequent. We have unsure. So it seems like you're kind of lost in the sauce a little bit, a little worried, feeling unsure, feeling unstable. And yeah, there is a lot of unsureness in the air for you, but I'm telling you, nice. It's going to lead you to a commitment. Oh, spirit loves to bury the lead. Of course, it's coming out at the tail end of the read. Um, so yeah, all of this is leading you to an official commitment, but there's a lot of unsureness on the way there. Oh, that's freaky. I just said lost in the sauce. Some of you are lost in the sauce and we literally got the lost in the sauce card that came up for you. So yeah, there is some confusion here. There's some feelings of kind of feeling like spirit. Are you sure you're there? Are you sure that things are going in a positive direction? Because I had a tower moment. I had a job loss or I'm changing locations. I got like I'm new again in a place and I had worked towards XYZ for so long where I lost my car, you know? Yeah, we have unexpected surprise that came out and in this deck, it's a positive thing. But for you, especially if you're someone who likes stability you don't really like when things change you don't like you know changes to your daily routine this unexpected surprise could be a bit dysregulating but we got fascinated okay so there is someone in your energy who is very attracted to you fascinated by you spirit can we get their sign or where they will meet them can we get their sign or where they will meet this person we got Pluto that came out, which is the card, or not the card, but the planet that actually rules the tower. So Spirit is saying your transformation or whatever hits the fan, that is directly leading you to this person. It's going to be a true trust the process moment. Pluto also rules Scorpio, so you can look out for Scorpio placements. This could be, you know, their sun, moon rising, Venus. Uh, Pluto with transformation, it says renewal, inner resources, basic instinct, motivation, personal power, evolution, heavy on the evolution, uh, cycles, death, rebirth. Yeah, I was feeling that all throughout your reading. Uh, it says obsession and intensity. So yeah, this person, they're, they're looking obsessed with you. I just saw 333. We have taboos. And clearing, so I see you doing a lot of clearing. If you haven't, this is a good time to do a little clearing ritual for yourself. Get yourself prepared for the new, out with the old, and with the new energy, spring cleaning energy. And we have extremes here. So this person could be um, the kind of person that likes to do those extremist kind of activities like skydiving. Let's get up, let's travel on a whim, let's go right now, let's book a red eye, let's just make it happen, that kind of thing. So they're bringing in a lot of adventure into your life, a lot of adventure, a lot of fun, travel, exploration, and new beginnings for sure. That is what I have for you, Group 4. My Etsy shop is in the description. If you'd like your own private tarot reading, that is where you can find me and all of my other magical offerings. And that is what I have for you today. I'll talk to you soon.